Hi guys, it's Mrs. Hicks again. We are going to work on some lessons from our phonemic awareness book. Um, if you don't remember that that's what it's called, once I start doing it, I know you're going to know what I'm doing. So, the first thing we're going to do is sing the ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Remember, pause there. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? All right, my turn, your turn with rhyming. Remember, these are rhyming words. Ready? Toy boy. Blue shoe. Horn corn. Blow toe. Past last. Nice job with those rhyming words. All right, now we're going to look at the beginning sound of the word. I want you to say it just like I say it right after. B boy. It starts with the b sound. Do you know what letter starts says what letter says the b sound? Did you say b? Good job. The next one is horn. So is what letter? What letter says that sound? Did you say H? The next one is little. When we stick that tongue out, it's L. Little starts with L. K come. Good job. That starts with the letter C, but it's the K sound. So if you said C or K, that's perfect. And the last one is a tricky one. Y, your. Do you know what letter says Y? Did you say why? If you weren't sure, that's okay. Remember, we're all just practicing this, and the more we practice, the better we get. So now I want you to put your hands together, and I'm going to give you the two parts, and you're going to put the word back together. So it's your job to show your adult how to do this because they've never done this before, and you guys are so super fabulous at this. I know you can do it. Ready? B. Boy, boy, good job. G, eight, gate. D, eep, deep. K, up, cup. H, orn, horn, nice job. Okay, the last one for this page is the ending sound, and the ending sounds are the trickier part. Ready? Horn. You hear that n sound at the end? Come. Hear the m at the end? Fruit. You hear the t at the end? Us. Hear the s at the end? Sheep. Hear the p at the end? So adults, this is what we would have done for the morning part of our phonemic awareness. So if your child is getting antsy at this point, or actually even if they're not, this is where I would stop it um, for now. And then in the afternoon or in a couple hours, whatever works for you, I would come back and do the second page. I'm going to do it now just for the sake of time. But like I said, you can just pause it and come back to it later. All right, you guys ready? So this time, I'm going to say the word, and you're going to give me the onset and the rhyme, the two parts to it. Ready? Look. O ook. Look. Remember to blend it back together. Hey. A. Hey. The next word is fast. F Ast. Fast. Will. W. Ill. Will. Door, d, or, door. Nice job. 
Okay, we got some hard words here. You ready? Get one fist out. Say, add. Add, s. Sad. Say, add. Add, m. Mad. Say, add. Add, d. Dad. Say, add. Add, b. Bad. Say, add. Add, p. Pad. Nice job. Okay, now we're going to start with both fists out. And we're going to say, hip. Without the h, ip, sip, without the s, s, ip, say tip, without the t, ip, say lip, without the o, ip, say dip, without the d, ip. So, hmm, let me think about this. Hip, sip, tip lip dip all those words did you say rhyme good job they do rhyme so this week's nursery rhyme for phonemic awareness is called little boy blue i think we did this one already but let's do it again little boy blue come blow your horn the sheep's in the meadow the cow's in the corn where is the little boy who looks after the sheep why he's under the haystack, fast asleep. So that ends our phonemic awareness lesson that we usually do during the day. Like I said, I do the first page in the morning, or we do the first page in the morning, and then in the afternoon, right after we come back from special, we do the second page so it's not so overwhelming with it all um, together at once. So that is Monday's phonemic awareness lesson.